Um, okay, we're on to our penultimate award, um, which is for the most valuable player. Um, so what is the most valuable player? Um, we had loads of guys nominated for this one, and the brief was the player you couldn't do without. They're your top contributor on the pitch, on the scales, and throughout the week. Um, our friends at the Lions Barber Collective are our charity partner for this one. And if you didn't see the halftime advert, then you may ask, what is a Lions Barber? Um, well, the Lions Collective are a set of barbers who aren't afraid to chat mental health and point their guys in the direction of local mental health services where needed. Um, once we get back to the pitches in 2021, we've identified a number of leagues where some Lions will be popping along and offering free cuts and a chat. If this goes well, it's something we may look to offer uh, wider to. Um, I think it's a great partnership, a bit like football programmes. Barbershops are places men naturally go to and uh, can kind of open up about certain health and mental health issues. So uh, uh, feels like a really natural partnership for Man v Fat. OK, let's um, hear about the nominations for the most valuable player. David Hume, a man who's a phenomenal leader on and off the pitch. David promotes the league as weight loss first and football second. Jeff Johnson. Jeff has been heavily influential to his teams in both challenge and football. His healthy dishes have been the talk of lockdown and his scores on the scales are evidence of his incredible weight loss transformation. Peter Kane. A teammate said of Peter, he shows that no matter what your age, you can still run around and play like a teenager. He always provides support and encouragement to other players in the league. Stuart Varney, constantly a loser on the scales, Peter has not only contributed to his team's success, but has also seen huge health gains, including improving his blood pressure and reversing pre-diabetes. And Mike Walker, despite being tough, and combative on the pitch, Mike's teammates describe him as an absolute gentleman. He gives 100% on and off the pitch to, to, to serve his team. And the winner is... Well done to Jeff Johnson. Let's see some of Jeff's finest work. Okay, um, huge congratulations to Jeff, um, who had nominations both through his football, through Man v. Fat Football and Man v. Fat Challenge teammates. Um, Jeff is no stranger to the camera after um, going on Sky News a few weeks ago, so we've asked him to join us tonight. Um, we're not sure if he's ready, but um, Jeff, are you there? I think we're having a, a few technical issues getting hold of Jeff, uh, Tim. But while we do, uh, I mean, what a transformation um, from those photos. And I know, I think we've had a few chefs on Man Be Fat. I know um, Ben Gallen, who used to work with us at, at Man Be Fat and who was one of our, our players from Solihull. Um, he was a chef like Jeff. And I think chefs often are put in that position whereby you sort of, as a chef, you have to taste your own food, don't you? Um, it's one of those things where it's, it's one of those sort of, vocations that doesn't necessarily help you uh in terms of losing weight so i think that's probably a a huge challenge but i know that um the, the stuff that jeff puts in the community group in terms of the foods that he's done and some of the stuff that we've seen there um yeah i mean it's, it's phenomenal food we need to get down to his restaurant i think absolutely absolutely and one of those jobs that makes losing weight hard because uh, also long antisocial hours um stressful work 
Um, so it's interesting of all the guys that we've worked with in Man v Fat, um, how they juggle their particular jobs um, around losing weight can be quite a challenge. But Jeff's done really well on that respect. So I think we um, now have Jeff about to join us. Jeff, are you there? Literally just joining, I think. But um, yes, yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, the a lot of the guys, I think, use Jeff's recipes that he puts up in the community group as an inspiration to trial some of their own. And I'm always I mean, uh, I, I, as you know, Tim, will sometimes attempt to get into the kitchen. Um, and whilst I think that my food tastes good, it looks good. And I, I think I need to get some tips from some of the challenge guys in terms of how they're making all these presentations. Uh, how they're getting the presentation up to their foods because it really is incredible. Absolutely. Well, here's the man himself, Jeff. Hey. Hello. How you how doing, you sir? Evening, lads. How are you? We're very good. We're very good. That was well a done. massive shock. <laughs> 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 I really didn't expect that. Well, much deserved, Jeff. Much deserved. And there's been lots of uh, congratulations and uh, positive comments on the chat, I believe. So, uh, oh, thank you so much. So well done. We were just talking about your uh, your um, culinary uh, delight that you share on the Man Be Fat Facebook group. Um, how, what, what's it been like, um, kind of having those skills as, a, skills as a chef and having to translate them into into recipes that help you lose weight? It's it's been good. I've I've had a, a slight advantage. I'm not going to lie, um, but it's a different way of cooking. I mean, in the restaurants and stuff, we use lots of butter, lots of cream um and obviously you know i can't eat that now so you know before I, I really didn't i really didn't have much control of what i was eating obviously i was the one that was putting this stuff in my body but if we went out i was having the biggest burger and the biggest rack of ribs you could have and four pints of beer and really didn't care i mean you know i'm, I'm quite a short guy so um i was almost as wide as i was tall and uh you know, my arms were almost in different postcodes at one stage. So, you know, it's it's been a massive thing for me to do this. And if I, you know the cooking side of it and the challenge has been brilliant. So, if I can inspire the other guys to to cook and you know, healthy food doesn't have to be a lettuce leaf and a cracker. Um, you know, the the food side of it's been brilliant, and hopefully, I've inspired the other guys. I mean, the, the challenge the challenge over the last two weeks, the boys. I'm in trouble. I need to get me through. These boys, yeah. are, these boys are, these boys are, you know, they're testing me now. So, and yeah, Jeff, it's for, good. Some guys, for some of the guys that haven't seen your food, obviously, as you say, taking out some of those ingredients that are high calories, but taste really nice and add a lot of the flavour into the meals, um, like your butter, your cream, etc. Um, have you got any sort of tips of what healthy things you can put into meals that that can add that nice taste and still make them as nice? The biggest thing you can put into food is love. That's the biggest thing. If you take care and time and effort into in, into doing it, um, you know, I have changed the way I cook, uh, especially at home. Um, I've cut down the fat. I mean, you know, I, I went really quite hardcore to, to start with. I cut out all sugar, all fat. Um, bread was my biggest downfall. If you could put it in two slices of bread, I was having it. There was... You know, that, that was, you know, my go-to thing was a sandwich because, you know, being a chef, it, it's hard. It's, we're working long hours. Um, we don't always have time to sit down and have a proper meal. Um, you know, we cook fabulous food, but it's, it's a hard life. And and that, that sort of life had taken its toll a little bit. And, you know, so if I can help and inspire the guys to do it, then then it's fantastic. And, and hopefully, hopefully it's paying off because the guys are producing some fantastic food now. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, comments here. Mark Joy said that he thinks that Jeff has some wonderful dishes. Um, James Eddy has said, um, there are balloons behind Jeff. Did he know he was winning? <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but it's, it's, it's party night tonight, isn't it? So, um, yeah, we got dressed up. We made a bit of an effort. Um, you love do it. it. Yeah. You can't go on a Saturday night. It. Normally I'm working on a Saturday night, so it's nice to have a Saturday night off, actually. Brilliant. I think it's a good point to say, actually, that none of the winners knew they were going to win. We did really try and keep the suspense. So the nominees have been gathered beforehand to uh, they genuinely didn't know. So uh, I've, got yeah. to give two, I've got to give two shout outs, if that's all right. I've got Go to for give it. Shout out to, to my youngest daughter, Bella. She's my stylist. 
<laughs> she took me out shopping for new clothes after I lost weight. She had nothing to do with this shirt, and she's horrified. <laughs> and also, uh, thanks to you guys, because you've done a fantastic job. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, we've done really, really, you've done really, really well, lads. Well done. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Brilliant. Right. Um, Jeff, thanks so much um, for joining us. Um, and congratulations again. And I look forward to seeing your next uh, your next amazing dish on the Facebook group soon. I hope so. I hope so. Cheers, lads. Thanks very much. Cheers, Jeff. Bye.